Hello friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome to another video tutorial. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to install and set up a universal database manager called dBeaver. Let's go to your favorite browser and search for dBeaver Community Download. Click on the first link, Download dBeaver Community. I'm installing on a Windows system, so I'm going to download the Windows installer. Click and we wait for the download. Next, let's show the file in the folder, in our Downloads folder. We'll right click and run as administrator. And welcome to the dBeaver community setup. Let's click next. Click I agree to accept the license agreement. I'm going to install for anyone on my computer. Click next and select components to install. I'm just going to leave that at the default. And the destination folder will be on my program files dBeaver folder. Click next. Choose a start menu folder. I'm going to leave that at the default of dBeaver community and click install. That will just take a moment to install all of the files for the dBeaver community edition on my laptop and click finish to complete the setup. Next, let's click on the Windows start button and we'll scroll down until we find dBeaver community. Click on the down arrow and click on dBeaver to execute the program. And there you can see we successfully installed and executed dBeaver. Next, I'm going to show you how to connect to two different databases. I have a version of MariaDB server on my system as well as a SQL Lite database that I'm going to connect to. So first, I'm going to set up a connection to my MariaDB server. Click on the File menu, and click New, and then click on the down arrow for dBeaver and Database Connection, and click Next. And I'm going to choose MariaDB from the list of databases. Click Next. And it shows me a list of parameters. So I'm going to use the local host because it's installed locally. Port 3306 is the default for MariaDB. And I have a tutorial database that I've been using in other videos. So I'm going to use that one to connect to. The username that I'm using is root. And my password is password. And then I'll click finish. We'll open up the tutorial. We'll open up the connection to MariaDB. Click Databases and I have the tutorial database. Let's double click on that. Now write the down arrow and I show four tables. So that's how you would set up a connection to MariaDB. Let's disconnect. Next, I'm going to set up a connection to a SQLite database. So again, File, New, Database Connection, Next, and I'm going to select SQLite and click Next. And here, all I need to do is specify the path to the actual database file. So I'm going to browse for that. And here it is on my local disk C and under a files folder. The name of the database is chinook.db. And I'll click Save. And then I'll click Finish. And now I have the chinook.db SQLite file. Click on the down arrow and click on the down arrow for tables. And you can see all of the tables that are included in that sample database. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the thumbs up button to like the video. Also consider subscribing to the channel to view more content. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it as always, and until next time, stay safe and keep on coding.